Hi guys, Sagar here. Hope you understood the previous one. Today we have the third bit of question 3 of exercise 3.2. We have to draw the graph of x square minus 4x plus 5 to find its zeros and to justify answers. So on the graph book, on the left hand side we have the graph page. On the right hand side we have the rule page. On the right hand side we have to do three specific things. One is to draw the table for this graph. One second is to we need to write the steps, and last we need to do the verification the the zeros if we found through the graph is correct or not. So first let's draw the table for this graph. So table we have similar to the previous questions when we add the second, third, and fourth rows, it will be equal to fifth row because I took y is equal to x square minus four x plus five. So for example x if we take x value as minus 3 x square will be 9 minus 4 into minus 3 equal to 12 and plus 5 constant term and when we add all this we would get 26 so for a value of x minus 3 value of y is equal to 26 so the point will be minus 3 comma 2 6 and another example if we take x equal to minus 2 x square will be 4 minus 4 into minus 2 will be 8 and if we add a 4 plus 8 plus 5, we would get 17. So for value of x equal to minus 2, value of y is 17. So second point is minus 2 comma 17 and so on. If I draw the table till the 5, we get different points. And step 1, we need to take the graph on the graph page. We need to draw x and y axis and take scale on x and y axis as 1 centimeter is equal to 1 unit. After taking the scale, we need to locate all the points on the graph sheet. For example, we took minus 3, 26. The points, whatever we found from the table, we need to locate in the graph sheet. Minus 2, 17, minus 1, 10, 0, 5, 1, 2, 2, 1, 3, 2, 4, 5, and 5, 10. And third step, we need to join all these points without lifting our pencil. So if we join all the points, we would get the graph like this. So we see that. Uh, the graph is not touching x-axis or not intersecting x-axis. In the first question, we saw that number of times the graph intersects the x-axis equal number of zeros and the point where it is intersecting is the zero of the polynomial. Here we can see the polynomial isn't intersecting x-axis at all. So for any value of x, the y value cannot be equal to zero. That is, there are no zeros for this polynomial. and the uh, it's important right in the left right hand corner bottom is polynomial has no zeros and uh, on the left top hand uh, top column we need to write the name of the graph y is equal to x square minus 4x plus 5 and they told to just fair answers if we we cannot do the verification here so there are there are three important steps on the rule page we need to do the table we need to write the steps and also we need to do the verification but there is no need of verification here because there are no uh, thing to justify our answer here so that's it and uh, there are three to four steps for this uh, for this graph that we need to write in the rule page below the table i will type them in the description so from our understanding from the first question and the third question if graph doesn't intersect x-axis, then it means that the polynomial, the quadratic polynomial has no zeros. That's it. Hope you understood the question. Tomorrow we'll have to.